What's up, Mint Squad? My name is Paul. Welcome to the very first top 10 video on this channel. I recently did a review. I thought that went pretty well. I'm deciding to test other types of videos to see how well they go over. This is the top 10 most terrifying stories in the wasteland. There's a lot of fucked up shit in the Fallout universe, and we're gonna go through the top 10. Number 10, the ghost people. The ghost people are a mysterious, aggressive people that can be found in Sierra Madre, that's a DLC for Fallout New Vegas. They are known for attacking travelers and their suited appearance. The ghost people are far more than just one-dimensional monsters. Behind the glowing eyes and filthy hazmat suits lies a dark origin story. Originally construction workers at the big empty research facility, the ghost people are a result of a toxic cloud that sweeps through the region. The corrosive gas cloud has permanently sealed their hazmat suits shut condemning them to live their lives forever inside the restrictive, claustrophobic outfits. The hazmat suits were never built to withstand the toxic cloud in the first place, meaning that the ghost people were constantly exposed to the gas cloud to the point where they are now the only beings that can safely pass through it. Eerily, they are not known to eat or sleep, and they have only the habit of dragging people into the gas cloud. It is unknown why they carry their victims in this manner, as none have ever lived to tell the tale. Number 9. The Apostles of the Holy Light The Apostles of the Holy Light is a religion that originates from Springfield in the Capital Wasteland. Similarly to Megaton's Children of the Atom Cult, the Apostles revere and worship radiation and its mutating effects. Believing that ghouls are the next stage in human evolution, the members actively use radiation in attempts to mutate themselves. When the player comes across the Apostles of the Holy Light, they are repeatedly told about the wonders of becoming a ghoul. Frequent references are made to the Son of Adam and Adam's Champion, who are both claimed to be members that have given themselves completely to the Eternal Light. However, upon meeting the ghoulified Apostle members, they are in a disturbing state. The Son of Adam is the Mother Curry Three the leader of the Apostles. Transformed into a glowing ghoul, he isn't hostile to the player, however, he seems to lack any sort of higher brain function and appears to be in a state of distress. Similarly, Adam's champion is not hostile, but also appears to lack any sort of intelligence. Upon attempting to communicate with him, the champion will eventually begin to have a violent fit, suggesting that giving himself to the eternal light might just have been a mistake. Number 8. Dr. Boris Dr. Boris was one of the scientists located at the big empty research facility involved in one of the most immoral and unethical experiences that ever took place there. Although he was once an ordinary human scientist, he has since been turned into a think tank, a brain in a jar attached to a robot. It is revealed that Dr. Boris was once bullied as a child with his pet dog Gabe acting as his only true friend. However, once he began working at the big empty, he began to use Gabe in various sickening experiments, feeding his once beloved pet a cocktail of drugs including the aggression inducing Psycho, Gabe never stopped loving his master despite the constant cruelty. When the player reaches the big empty, they can convince Boris to reflect upon his past actions and admit remorse for what he has done to his once faithful companion. Gabe is now a monstrously huge cyber dog as a result of years of experimentation and the player has the option to put the poor hound out of its misery. Number 7. The Divide In the Mojave Wasteland lies a desolate place known only as the Divide. Once the location of both a city and a great missile base, the area was destroyed by the Great War and the missiles never left their silos. Shortly before the events of Fallout New Vegas, the Divide was the setting for a battle between two warring factions, Caesar's Legion and the New California Republic. However, the many missiles underground are suddenly activated, causing them to detonate and creating a huge, devastating earthquake. Both Legion and NCR troops are trapped together by the violent dust storms and the deep ravines. The troops are flayed alive while simultaneously exposed to large amounts of radiation this transformed them into Mark Men, terrifying, spinless ghouls with a hatred for everything and everyone. Number 6. West Tech Research Facility The West Tech Research Facility appears in the original Fallout. 
where it is colloquially referred to as the Glow. It earned its name thanks to high levels of radiation in the surrounding area following its destruction by a direct hit from a nuclear warhead. The Glow became legendary among the local residents thanks to its various old world artifacts and technology. It was also the source for much of the airborne FEV virus in the air leading to the horrific mutations of local wildlife. By the time of the events in Fallout, the glow has been assigned a dark use by the not entirely heroic Brotherhood of Steel. As the player finds out, joining the Brotherhood is a difficult process and many people are unsuccessful in applying. The Brotherhood deals with these unwanted applicants by sending them on a special quest to the glow resulting in the slow death of every single one of them, thanks to the huge amounts of radiation. Number 5. Fox Fox is one of the most trustworthy companions the player has ever been given in Fallout 3, despite his monstrous appearance. As a super mutant that has retained his original cognitive abilities, Fox is an outcast in both societies. The player is able to rescue Fox from his containment in Vault 87, where his transformation originally took place. A series of audio tapes that were cut from the finished game graphically depicted the build-up to Falk's mutation process. Sykes and Kostler dragged some unconscious guy from the dorms into the labs. I tried to ask them what was going on, but they just glared at me. After they left, I snuck into the containment room, and I almost threw up. I don't even know how to describe it. It looked sort of like a human, but it was deformed and I could only see some of its organs on the surface of its body and they looked like they were trying to push through. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Merrick and his team are obviously experimenting on people. Someone's gotta put a stop to it, but how? There's nowhere to go and there's no one to tell. Shit. What am I gonna- Oh my god, they're coming. I- Tell my wife and Dormy that I love her. I- While this is all terrifying stuff, the worst is the final holotape which helps to add a more tragic element to the super mutants as a whole. Recorded as he begins to succumb to a super mutant virus, it reveals the once intelligent fox as he struggles to maintain his higher brain functions. Stupid machine. How you work this thing? This thing is stupid. Smash it. Number 4. The Dunwich Building well known among many players as possibly the scariest location in Fallout 3, the Dunwich Building is a terrifying place, littered with audio logs recorded by the old world inhabitants. They reveal what, what it was like for the ordinary people at work when the bombs began to fall. The audio tapes contain the sounds of the bomb actually exploding near the building, as well as the panic of the workers of Dunwich. Finally, they depict the sounds of people being painfully transformed into deadly feral ghouls that now patrol the area as well as the haunting audio logs, the Dunwich building hides some creepy secrets in its lower levels. One of the ghouls, named Jeremy, appears to be summoning feral ghouls from a misty crack in the wall. Additionally, there are several references to a Cthulhu-esque mythology in the form of frequent mentions of an Alhazred and a bizarre altar of, of Ugg Qualtoth located in the deepest underchambers of the building. The full mysteries behind the altar have never been uncovered, and whether it was involved in the especially aggressive transformation of the building is still unknown. Number 3. Richard Morrow Originally a, a doctor in Vault 8, Richard Morrow would one day become one of the most hideous, powerful forces in the world of Fallout. After being exiled from his vault for murder, he came across a military base where he accidentally fell into a vat a forced evolutionary virus, FEV as I previously mentioned. Assumed dead by his companions, Morrow floated in the vats for weeks, transforming into, into a repulsive blob-like being. In his new form, Morrow was able to absorb people and other creatures that approached the base, and even merged with the facility's computers. After merging with countless biological beings, Morrow began to form the idea of a unified wasteland by forcing humans to become transformed into super mutants by the FEV virus. Eventually, Morrow became known by a different name, the Master. For years, he led the super mutants on a campaign of terror, eventually defeated by the player-controlled Vault Dweller in the events of Fallout. Number 2. The Great War The nuclear wastelands that are seen in the Fallout series are the result of the Great War, which occurred in 2077. 
What makes The Great War so terrifying is how realistic the build-up and resulting aftermath are, especially when compared to the tensions of our own world's Cold War. The Great War was primarily triggered by worldwide energy crisis after fossil fuels began to run out in 2050. In the Fallout world, miniaturized electronics never took off, leading to huge, energy-insufficient technologies that required more power than our own. Think of it like the old supercomputers of 1980s movies, but those are still being used today. Despite the best attempts from the United Nations, many countries left the organization, leading to it being completely disbanded. Following two decades of what was known as the Resource Wars, it escalated into the devastating Great War. Lasting just one day, it saw superpowers of the United States, China, and the Soviet Union unleashing all of their nuclear missiles at once, resulting in the setting of the Fallout games and the destruction of humanity. Number 1. Andale Andale is a small town in the capital wasteland, with the residents hiding dark secrets behind the welcoming facade. The current inhabitants of Andale are all distant relatives of four families that were able to survive the Great War. When the player in Fallout 3 enters Andale, they are warmly greeted and warned by the town's residents, offering the place as a respite from the terrors of the wasteland. One of the residents, named Old Man Harris, warns the player to keep away, but other younger residents laugh it off as the ramblings of a crazy person. However, after entering the basement of the Smith household, the player comes across a stash of strange meat, which is revealed to be human flesh. Upon exiting the basement, the player is confronted by Andale residents attempting to kill and probably eat them if they refuse to keep the town's secret. It is eventually uncovered that Andale has a history of heavy inbreeding and a total rejection of outside society. For generations, the tradition of murdering and consuming outsiders has been passed down, making Andale one of the most sickening products of the post-apocalyptic world. If you enjoyed the top 10 video, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of these.